Hi guys, welcome to Citizen Mentors. My name is Ketan. So, what needs to be a strategy on the day day as far as sponsors is concerned? In this video, I'm going to tell you what are a couple of things that you need to take care of to improvise on your score and to actually maximize your return. Now, before I move in, my prediction says that again, it's a prediction. So, my predictions are like, I think. Your quants is going to be a bit easy, a bit mild when I compare it with your uh, 2018 quants. So I believe as far as the quants is concerned, it's not going to be that lengthy what we saw in 2018, right? So it's going to be a little bit straightforward, but again, I think it's going to be a midway. Um, not going to be as easy as 2017 quant, and it's not going to be as tough as 2018 quants. So it's going to be midway. Now, what do you need to do when you start with quant section? Number one thing that I don't want you all to do is give five to ten minutes to scan your paper. Don't do that. Do not scan your paper. Why? Because your quants in CAD is a quants is a very much technical subject, right? You know it, you know it, or if you don't know it, you don't know it. That's simple as that. Now, what I want you all to do is I want you all to apply bucketing strategy. It means 10, 10, 10, and 4. Means I'm going to divide my entire section in four segments, or let's say three and a half segments. 10 question, 10 question, 10 question, and 4 questions. Now, the disclaimer here is that if you believe that any question is there on the screen which will take you more than let's say 2-3 to three minutes to solve, you have to skip it. For sure. So let's say you are somebody, I am taking a hypothetical example out here. Let's say for somebody who is pretty good at let's say arithmetic and algebra and number system and you do not know or you are literally bad at geometry, modern maths, log and trigo, whatever, right? So your main focus is going to be algebra, arithmetic and number system. Now, the moment you start, the moment you start, see it doesn't matter whether you are a below average student, average student or you are a 99 percentile kind of a product. On the D-Day, everybody is going to be equal till the time you don't understand the level of difficulty. So my humble request, even you are a 99.99% dollar in all the mocks or even you are 99.99% dollar last year cat, I will always tell you that the moment you start, you should always go ahead with some milestone. 10 questions, then 5 questions, then 5 questions. So that's 10, 5, 5, that's going to be 20. Now, in the first 10 questions bracket, your target is pick up those questions which you can solve easily or questions which, which are literally doable within let's say two minutes so you pick them up you solve it so let's say question number one on the screen is number system you know that this question is doable it's easy pick it up crush it solve it done and dusted second question you feel that it's arithmetic let's say profit and loss and that's your forte however the question is a bit lengthy or you know you feel that okay the question is a little bit mixture masala kind of a question do not pick it up even though it's your forte don't pick it up so what are you gonna do the moment you start with your section, which is quants, you will, or rather, you will have to go according to the question and not according to your forte. So listen to me very carefully. So you only want to look at the question. Can you do this in two minutes? Yes, you can. Mark it, move ahead. So in first ten question, you get to know that you know what? Out of these ten questions, I could only do three questions. That's 2018 quants for you. Okay? Then you understand. Okay, might be. The level of difficulty has increased okay so let's say in those 10 questions you could attempt five or six questions which is more than 50 percent then you can say that okay the paper seems doable you don't know what's going to be there you don't know level say like 34 questions you have no idea what's going to be there you're only focusing at 10 questions so 10 questions whatever you could do in two minutes you picked it up you knocked it off you're improvising on your score you are going with 100 percent accuracy Plus your attempt is increasing. So you move right from 11 to 20. That's the second bucket. Same formula 11 to 20. Now, when you do this, what you need to understand is, I said go question by question. Now, let's say profit and loss, arithmetic. You feel that, you know what, I can do this. But right now, I don't want to stuck at question. No. Make it a point that for the first 30-35 minutes, may what come? May what come? LOD upper ho, niche ho, of the LOD, if it's high or it's low, never ever get stuck at a question. That's gonna really beat your temperament and your tempo. Trust me, so don't do that. So you're not gonna get stuck at any question. So you say that, okay, profit and loss is something, I know it's my forte, I'm not gonna do it right now, I'm gonna mark it for you. 
That's the second thing. So you look at a question, you can do it, do it on the spot. Secondly, forte hai but can't do it because it's a little bit lengthy, mark it for you. Now, when you enter the examination hall, 15 minutes or I think half an hour before, you will be handed over a notepad or whatever. What I want to do is, what you can do is, you can make this little boxes. So let's say you have an A4 size paper, you just draw line. So number one, arithmetic, number two, let's say algebra, number three, number system. This three are your forte. So what I'm going to do is, I see question number two, profit and loss, but I'm going to pick it later on. Mark for review. I'm just going to write number two. So in the arithmetic bracket, I'll just write in two. So I know arithmetic message, let's say question number two, question number eight, question number 15, 20, 28, 29th, 31st. All these are arithmetic questions. Okay. Now let's hold on. 11 to 20, same funda. Anything that you are not good at. So let's say geometry is something that you really suck at. You are not going to attempt geometry. Absolutely. Absolutely. You are not even going to look at them later on. So at the bottom of the paper, somewhere you will be writing those numbers. So let's say 9, 10, 11, 12. These are the geometry questions. Or let's say uh, number 18, number 19 and 20. They are trigo and logarithm which you don't know. You write it down on the paper so that you know that you know these are the questions I'm not going to touch. Absolutely. Now what's happening here is, for the fact you had 34 questions, you know out of 34 questions, there are 10 questions that I cannot do absolutely. Now your paper became 24 questions. Okay. So now 11 to 20, same bracket you follow. Then you move ahead with 21st to 30th ka bracket. Pick up the questions which are easily doable. Excuse me. Pick up the questions which are easily doable. Leave the questions which are not doable or you want to do later on. Now you, you have like you are done with let's say 10 se leke, like 1 se leke, 31 questions you have seen. Now you know what is happening with the paper. Now you know, see if the paper is easy, you will be able to mark many questions. So by the time you reach 30, you might have done round about 16 questions. But if the paper is very much tough, by the time you reach 30, you might have not done even 10 to 11 questions. Right? So that's the way you understand what is going to be the LOD. Then you can take a call that, okay, fine, I could do very well. So my 10 questions are done. I'm close to 80 or I'm 80 plus, irrespective of the LOD. Then you can understand plus two. Now I'm going to hunt for plus two questions. I want to go for two more questions. Which area? You got a paper right in front of you. Arithmetic, that's the forte, right? On the top. Pick up the question, okay? Question number two, question number eight, question number nine. They were from arithmetic. You're gonna go back, you're gonna check. And that's how you're gonna pick up those questions. See, what happens because of this, even if you look at the historical data of CAD, in last three years, the maximum attempt could have been round about 24, 25 questions. Again, you still have room to leave 9 to 10 questions, right? So that's about 99.99 percent dialogue. But if you're somebody who really wanted to be 95 to 99, then your attempt should be round about 18, 19 questions. And that's still doable. You're getting my point? That's still doable. 18 to 20 questions, even if you look at, you still have liberty to leave 14 questions. So my thing over here is that, number one, because of bucketing strategy, you understand the level of difficulty. You do not mark questions uh, which will take you into the negative uh, you know, zone. Number three, you do not spend more time on the questions which you are not supposed to. Number four, you never ever get stuck at any question within the crucial time of your paper. First 35 minutes are going to be very crucial for every section. So this is going to be your D-Day strategy that don't spend time more and you know what, while you do all these things, never ever have that ego coming into uh, your mind. Never have that ego coming into picture. I've seen a lot of students screwing up their CAT 2018 because they always believe that they are damn good with arithmetic. Arithmetic LOD was on a different level altogether. So, you know, because of that ego, they spent 5 minutes, 10 minutes on one question of interest and profit and loss and the entire paper got screwed up. I mean, paper didn't get screwed up. It's just that their tempo, their moral confidence got shattered. So that's going to be my, you know, strategy for you all. Bucket it 10, 10, 10, 4. Round number one, any question within two minutes you can do it, do it. Number two, anything that you are not aware, you can't do it, just leave it forever, mark it down, or just note it down. Number three, in the second round when you go for it, now you want to go for 14, then you look out for topics. Right? In the first go, look out for question type. In the second go, look out for the topics. And that's how you will be able to build your score and that's how you are able to, you know, attempt more. And trust me, this strategy works fundamentally super. So if you apply this with a caution that yes, I will be doing these things, you're going to rock on the D-Day. So guys, that's it from my side. Wait for LRDI and verbal ability question. I'm also going to make one video which is based on, which is only for 99% error. I'm also going to make one more video for this not one guys. So three to four videos are lined up for you guys. If not subscribed, do subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.